Welcome to the channel. I'm here as a guest carpenter today with Robin Clevett, and here's Robin. Hey, this is David Birrell. Now, David and I have known each other for a few years, and um, this is an absolute honour for me. David's travelled all the way down from Edinburgh, and it's coincided with the day that we're going to start making the big Streetex screen, which starts over here at this Glunan post and it's gonna run along this wall, it's gonna incorporate two big mirrors, then it's gonna travel into a screen and it's gonna curve around to this point, which is dead center of this hip rafter above my head, and then beyond that, on a parallel radius is another screen which then goes back into this wall here and we'll go across this doorway, believe it or not, as a hidden door, the door is the first thing we're going to clad, so we're going to clad six millimeter street tech ply on the door and the surrounding areas of wall that have the slat. So it's a slatted wall we're making. This is a mock-up of the slatted wall. We did this just to sort of get an idea of how it would look. 50 millimeter wide slats of 15 millimeter ply. This is the street tech. It's a poplar faced ply and it's a fantastic birch ply alternative. And now this is the whole uh, aim for me is finding a material which is as good as birch ply without many core voids. And this ticks all the boxes. And it's much more available and economical, which is a big deal at the moment. So here is our rod. This is the first thing as a carpenter and a joiner that we do. We set out a rod. And the reason we need a rod is because if you start padding something and you're working along to a pattern, and you get to a point you think, oh, if only I'd adjusted it this way. This is the way of doing it. So this rod represents slats, okay? I've just used a piece of doorstop and I've numbered them as well. And the reason I've done that is, the very first thing I'll do is, I know how big my mirrors are and I'll roughly plot them on the wall by drawing some faint lines. Then I'll put my rod against the start point here, which is the glue lamb, and I'll be able to see exactly where the relationship is to the mirror. So what we want is a full strip down either side of the mirror or mirrors. And then from there, let's say this is the other side of the mirror, we'll start again and we'll travel into the screen. Now this rod, I can't bend round the screen radius at the minute. So I'm gonna rip that down to about four millimeters, which will enable me to set out the screen as well. So the thing that can catch me out here is I want the same amount of slats over the mirror and under the mirror because the mirror starts at around about 400 millimeters from the floor, 16 inches in old money if you're watching from across the pond and that'll be about 8% of our audience. So thank you very much for anyone in the United States who's also watching this. So as I say, Davey's here. We've also got Ed, he's behind the camera. He's obviously gonna feature in this. They've got set up outside. Let's go and have a little look at our setup out there. Yeah, Come on then, mate. Cool. It just looks like a bit of a, uh, workshop out here now and the reason we're working outside is because there's a lot of decorating already done and we don't want the dust to go everywhere. and the weather's good and the weather's fantastic yeah and what's it like in edinburgh at the moment it's funny eh? it's but sunny. not as hot down here not as hot as it is down here yeah uh, the weather down here is just something different compared to scotland <laughs> we're in the same country so, so yeah as, as robin said we're set up uh, yeah we've got the door there the door's ready to go so we've already cut down the ply to go on the door so we're going to yeah. show you the process and what we're going to be doing with that Brilliant. Today, and then we'll be moving forward uh, on to the inside. So you might be wondering how we're going to create those slats on top of the backing board. So the slats, as I say, are 50 millimetres wide, 15 millimetres deep. Now we're going to actually attach those with glue on the back and some really, really tiny brads. And these are virtually invisible. And you actually don't need that many. I've done a pull test with it already and it's quite tricky to pull them off. So that's the idea of that. The six mil on the walls, we're gonna attach with a bonding agent such as a panel adhesive. And then we'll screw those up as well. We'll find where the studs are. We'll use our rod to make sure that we don't see the screws once the slats go on. And that's it. So the guys are gonna get out here, fix on the ply that they've cut. They've cut it slightly oversized. And how are you gonna trim it back? I'm going to use the trimmer itself from Hikoki here. Oh yeah. Uh, stick, once it's stuck on, then we'll be using the door itself as a guide to make it sure it's down to the size that we need. Brilliant. Okay, and here, here, here's Eddie. I'm just going to pass you over. Whack that on. Here we go. Back in the spotlight. There he is. All right, so let's do it then, chap. Should we get cracking? Yeah, yeah. So Davy's just got the door here and now he's going to chuck on some nice wood glue just to help adhere the plywood to it. 
It seems crazy finishing a nice oak door with a bit of ply, but it will work yeah. out perfect and looks absolutely stunning. There we go, there's, there's Davy's contacts. If you're in Scotland, near Edinburgh, there you go, give him a call. So like all my muscles were working there just to press that. Jesus. <laughs> We've also got another rod here to show where we can nail when we nail the ply to the door. That's just so all the fixings won't be seen when the slats are up. Get that ply on. I'll just clamp it off the centre so we can get the first nails in, I reckon. Yeah. You've got more of your end if you need it. Good, oh, it needs to come to me in the length a bit, Davy. I'll take a bit more. Glue's working, isn't it? Yeah. Nice, yep. You good, my man? Yep. Nice. Okay, start nailing from. Got one set of nails just this side of the clamp, so I'll get all those in. Then we can probably move the level over this way a bit. Yeah. Move out of the way somewhere. Why don't we move the level each time to where the mark is? So put the level to the left hand side, your right of the mark. The first where the first pins were, yeah? Yeah, so we've done the I've done the middle one. So you want to see the mark on your left here looking at it, you're right. Yeah. I'm used to having an eight metre tape. Hey? I'm used to having an eight metre tape. <laughs> 295, yeah, I'm good. Grand. That one there. I'm on. Is that one? Yeah. So now we've got the six mil on. Davy is going to use the router. Show us the bit you got in there, Davy. That is a flush cut bearing guided router cutter there. And that'll fraud. give us a super nice finish. From fraud. Fraud. Are we good, yeah? Yeah, man. Set my man, we've done it. Good, nice. So the door is made, the guys have got the door ready, so we'll bring that in and swing the door in a minute. But the next job for us, now I've done the setting out with Davey here, is get these panels made up. So this is just the six mil backer boards, and the idea is when we put them all, we'll have a strip here, We'll have some strips from the top down the sides and we'll leave the area for the mirrors so they bond straight back to the plaster. And the idea is when the mirror goes in, there'll be a slat that covers this join of the mirror and the join on the other end. And that all works out to the rod. So we're gonna get on, get the door on, get the plywood ripped down, and get that on the wall. And once we've done that, it's a matter of setting out the screens and then we can start making the screens and making the slats on the walls. Right, I'll help, I'll get the little blocks for us. I've got some really nice Viking arms. Have you tried them? No. They're really nice. It's contemplating buying them, but they're pretty pricey. Fuck, you're right, eh? <laughs> That's why I've been like, is it, is it worth buying them? What I'll do is I'll put them in here ready. And these hinges are absolutely lovely. If we pull them around like so, 90 degrees, then what we'll do is we'll ease it in there gently. The floor's higher in there, that's lovely. That's perfect. That's a lovely job, right. Now, if I hold the door, you slide under the Viking arms. Oh, it's a lump in it now. Yeah, yeah. That's it. 
push the one under, I know this one. And we'll just get the, get the hinges lined up. So, okay, give me a little squeeze on that one. Now the other one, that's enough. That's it. So it's just slots back so nice. Yeah, it's so simple on that. So now what we do is we're gonna get the bottom one eased off of the Viking arm and roughly in position. Okay. That's it, and give it a little tiny tweak. That's it. At least you know you've painted the right side there, don't I? <laughs> right, I'm gonna go and find some temporary screws. Okay, my man. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Those Viking arms. Even are... the ply looks good though. So I built uh, wardrobes in my house, still the ply itself, and then I did uh, panel doors. Yeah. It looks so good, like. Can't beat it, can you? Some of no. these nice materials. That's what this Streetex nice for, because it's a really nice alternative, you know? Yeah, most definitely. Now, I had to make a jig for these hinges. Oh, yeah, I've done the same. Did you? Yeah, so I had to fit them on it. Someone wanted to do a wardrobe with a discreet door. So and it's just, just, for, just like, but I bought a flush out a bit for it because it's so much easier to just make it to the size, you know, and then, you know, obviously, yeah, exactly. as long as it's the size, you're fine, you know. Yeah. Just... I just used the hole cutter, which was the right sort of dimension, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And then it was a matter of just paralleling the sides out. One more screw. Sorry. So if you take out your Viking arms. Do you press both buttons? Yeah, and they just sort of drop out like little forklifts. Yeah, like forklifts, I need some of them for me. It's got quite a tight gap at the top anyway. And these have got 3D adjustments, so I can go up, down, in and out. So when oh. we clad this off, I'll be able to adjust it to suit as well. You yeah, know? so it's nice. Yeah, so this is looking, looking good. Yeah? Good, Look yeah, at that. Yeah. That's pretty sweet, like. it's on the money. On the money, Robin. That will have to do, won't it? Oh, aye. We know where we're going with the ply, so now what we're gonna do is find the studs in the wall to fix our ply back to. Now the good thing is we built these at 400 centers, so I can, and we started on that wall over there. So the first stud would be, well the middle of the first board joint is 1200. I can check that by looking at the bottom and see if I can see the plasterboard. Or we can leave it, so the grain's exactly the same. So where the mirror is, it might, mine's up, but it's gonna be pretty similar anyway. Okay, oh, love the big bob shape, look at that. Hey, big bob shape. Where on the, where did it go? Yeah, look. Oh, you bastard. It was aiming for you. Exactly. This will have to be turned backwards. <laughs> At least a bug was trying to get some of these of her. <laughs> Slide it down to me a bit because I'm going to hit the thing. Yeah, 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 that's fine. All good now. Is he sanding these down? Yeah, I imagine you want something taken off it. Bit of an iron sticking off. Believe me, never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me, and what was left over I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for. Believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power, don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower, scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder and f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown so we've hung the door, the door's back on its uh, fancy hinges which enable it to be flush with the wrong side of the lining. So basically it brings it over to here, allowing us to actually then put the cladding all the way over so we'll ply this as well, the surrounding wall. We'll use the adjustable hinges to bring it all nice and true and then we'll go over the top with the slats on there. So it's gonna look amazing, it's gonna be hidden. And we've also got the plywood put on the wall 
over here ready for the mirrors. Now we're gonna probably hold this here until the mirrors arrive because we wanna sort of get the mirrors in and see what the relationship in terms of thickness. We've ordered mirrors which are six millimeters. We've gotta put them on with some adhesive. This is six millimeter street tech. We've also put that on with adhesive. So on paper, it should come up the same thickness, but I think we'd be foolish if we did try to put the cover fillet on and slide the mirror behind. We need to get the mirrors on and then carefully clad it as we're using a pinner next to mirrors. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you all soon.